The Gray Moss Inn is a staple in the tiny community of Gray Forest, and the name goes back to the 1920s, and over the past year it has been under new ownership with two sisters carrying on the legacy while changing the menu, serving up northern Mexican style cuisine. And our Jen Tobias Drosky is going to take us there for a sample of food and drinks near Scenic Loop and Babcock Road. I'm so excited to be here today with one of the owners, Martha Valadez. Hi, Martha. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. And we are going to start with the food here. Let's start with the queso. Look how beautiful that is. The queso flameado is one of our most popular, and people love it that we light it up and they get to see that come to their table like that. And the food is described, I noticed, it's northern Mexican. So you brought quite the spread today. Yes. Let's talk about some of the items here. Yes, for sure. Uh, we have some appetizers here, some of our most popular, like I said, the queso flameado, for sure, it's one mm. of them. These are the Ignacios, mm -hmm. which is a long word for nachos. It's <laughs> our version of them. Uh, we have the shrimp crostinis. This is the most popular, mm -hmm. uh, the, our uh, ribeye uh, appetizer. And of course, anything with ribeye is going to be delicious. So it's ribeye with the guac and it's just all uh -huh. the Chicharron de ribeye is oh, the name of it. Yes. So good. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, our traditional fajitas. Mm -hmm. And we have some other traditional dishes like chile rellenos. Mm -hmm. Our milanesa is made with filet mignon. Milanesa is a traditional Mexican mm -hmm. dish. What's, mm -hmm. What we make it a little bit different is that we make it with filet mignon because it's normally one steak. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we make it with filet mignon, that's why they're more like tenderloins, but tender being the key word. <laughs> tender, yes, delicious. Um, more traditional dishes, like I was saying, the chile relleno, we've got some enchiladas de mole, enchiladas suizas, uh, we've got some ribeye tacos, also a very popular that looks dish. Yes, amazing. Yes. Wow. With the the beans, because uh, I did get to try some of those. Can you tell me about that? Because that recipe, oh, so the, good. The borracho <laughs> beans. Yes. yes. Those are traditional. Who doesn't Who doesn't love the borracho yes. beans, right? Yes. yes it has, uh, of course, beans mm -hmm. and uh, pico de gallo, uh, bacon, some wieners, uh -huh. and so it's a, it's a nice mixture and a little bit of spice. Yes, it they takes have, me back. They have, they have to be a little bit picosos. Yes. A little bit cool, so, and it takes you back to my childhood with the little, you know, everything in there, so it's so good. Okay, and then breakfast as well on the weekends, right? Yes, breakfast, we serve breakfast on the weekends. Uh, so we've got the chilaquiles, also a popular dish, also the green so chilaquiles. Good. Yes. Uh, huevos divorciados, which has two types of salsas. Mm -hmm. The desayuno gray moss with pancakes. Who doesn't love pancakes? No matter where you're from, right? Like yeah, that's a, beautiful. I know, those are awesome. Uh, and then uh, the huevos rancheros. The huevos rancheros, okay, amazing. Everything looks so good, and this is obviously a new menu from what the Grey Moss, it goes way back to the 1920s here in Grey Forest. So you and your sister decided to take it over. Why Why did you guys want to do that? Well, we have a background in catering. We've had a catering company for many, many years, and then we decided to expand, and we knew about this property for many years because we live in the area, mm -hmm. and it's just such a beautiful property, mm -hmm. and it, was, it had been closed down for uh, several years. It closed down during the pandemic, and we just really wanted to take up the mantle and reopen it. It was a huge project, but we decided to take it on. Yes, and keeping the name was important as well, right? Just because of that legacy? Yeah, for sure. I mm -hmm. mean, the Grey Moss Inn, who, who that has lived here for a long time doesn't recognize the name. Yes. Uh, yeah, for sure, we wanted to keep the name. Even though it's a little different for a Mexican restaurant, but people have responded well to it. Okay, so mm -hmm. people can still come visit and you have happy hour, because it's not just the food, right? Well, it's also of course, <laughs> gotta have good margaritas <laughs> if you're gonna have a Mexican restaurant, yes. for sure. The delicious drinks, there's also outdoor seating and then a second seating area as as well so just a beautiful place to escape a beautiful property for more information you can head to salive.com click the as seen on sa live tab or scan the qr code on your screen